Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what important message you need to hear right now that would change your life, okay? So we have group number one, group number two, group number three and group number four. Today we're going to be doing some sound healing. We're going to do this at the start of the video so you're always welcome to skip if you want to miss out on this singing bowl. All the time stats will be down below as usual and let's get started. So I'm not the best at sound sound healing bowls i recently just got this so i'm still practicing so if it isn't the bestest then you know just it's fine okay <laughs> so let's get started Okay, that is your sound healing. And I'm sorry if you could hear my creaky elbow. I had my elbow resting on the table and I was holding the sound bowl. So hopefully that is all good for you guys. And let's get started with today's pick a card. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what message you will need to hear that will change your life. So we have friendship, seek out your soul family, Surround yourself with positive people, spend more time socializing. So that's the overall message for you guys. Let's leave that there. And we also have transformation, self-reliance, moderation, the unexpected. Oh, yes, that's so good. I love that. We have, oh, that's not even in the shot. Wow, great. <laughs> Tourmaline, smudging, root chakra and amber give it to god take a deep breath and on the exhale release this solution for god for healing and answers and then we also have the six of pentacles that's this is amazing this is literally showing me that you guys are trying to balance out your life pretty much and you're like you're transforming you're transforming you're in the transformational period okay some of you might have already come out of this and are now giving more love to yourself or you're currently giving love to yourself and you're trying to figure out how much love to give to other people how much love to give to yourself okay so there's quite a variety of messages in this um reading today as it is a general message as usual so um just take it as it resonates guys okay so what i'm seeing for you guys is that the element of this reading here group number one is that you basically are transforming and you're learning to work on yourself to live by yourself for yourself and love yourself okay it's all about the core value on getting the core value of what you love and desire and and who you are and it's all about moderation so possibly there may be elements of overeating overspending over drinking 
overthinking, over talking too much, you know, there's something that you're trying to look at yourself and you're thinking there's too much intensity here, I feel out of control, I possibly feel lonely, sad, unhappy, you know, there's something here where you feel just n not right. There's kind of like I'm getting like someone zipping up a jacket and they're only zipping it up halfway and, it, and the zip gets stuck. So it's almost like you're, you're, you are the, the not, mm, okay, can't speak. So I feel like you are halfway there, but you're actually, some of you are more than halfway there. It doesn't mean that you're not getting there. It just means that it's taking step by step and cutting off all those layers to get to the core of who you are. What's really important is actually who you are. That's literally this reading here. It's just who you are. And just knowing that you are loved, you are valued and you are absolutely beautiful, okay? I want you to know that you are not out of control. You do have complete control of this situation and everything is going to be fine, okay? I'm getting intense like um, tingles all up my arms. So I do feel like you need to feel supported. I, I feel like for some of you, you don't feel supported. You possibly are getting the element of abandonment here. So I do sense that for you guys, you are going to get an unexpected friendship coming in that's going to help you through this process. Um, it could also be that you come out of this process, you leave people behind, <clears throat> excuse me, that no longer serve you. And then you basically find the person that's really going to suit you, okay? This person is amazing. They're really going to be on your wavelength. They're your soul family. They're somebody who is... Um, basically I'm getting this person is the sacral and the solar plexus so this is going to be somebody who's going to help you with your creativity they're going to be somebody who's going to help you express yourself be grounded being your root and we have the root chakra here as well so if you're feeling that you need to kind of um, protect yourself there's a few people that are a bit depressing there's people who are negative there's just you need to let go of things from the past then tourmaline's a really really good crystal for you I highly highly recommend it um, also I'm getting um, black onyx jet and hematite okay um, also I have pyrite here which is also a good crystal it just depends whatever you're kind of drawn to um, this is more about kind of wealth and um, also masculine and protection so whatever crystal feels right for you but I'm definitely getting like a black crystal is very very good for protection this is also really good for negative situations negative families people who aren't going to treat you well you need to have this around you so you have your own energy and it's all about you and not them okay it's also you relying on yourself and knowing that I can do this like I'm not out of control it's all, literally those two things I'm not out of control and I can do this okay um, we also got give it to God, take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. So if you are feeling very ungrounded, very confused, this is the situation that you need to give to God, to the universe, angels, guides, ancestors, whoever, whoever you believe in, give it to God. When I feel overwhelmed, sometimes I cut my hands and I say, okay, I give this to you. And I literally physically reach out my arms like this upwards or I throw it over my shoulder and just say, I give this to you now. Thank you. And then I let it go. Because times when you just feel like you have too much responsibility can be very overwhelming and you need some sort of release, okay? That's, I think that's why I did the sound healing today. I feel like a lot of you guys needed that. Um, if you didn't watch the sound healing, it's linked down below the timestamp. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you missed that. So the unexpected is coming. So if you are in an element of I have no idea what the fuck is going on, I have no idea what's going on, what's going to happen, then <clears throat> the unexpected is coming for you. <coughs> sorry guys i have massive amounts of coughs okay let me just sip my tea okay i'm sorry guys every time i do readings my throat chakra really just goes for it i've no idea why if anyone knows why i always cough during readings please let me know i'm not sure why i don't know if it's because i'm just like telling my truth about things i, I really don't freaking know but you guys are very you're getting to the point where you're getting balanced this person's going to help you it's almost like this this person is almost like you have given enough you have given as much as you can you're doing a really really good job make sure to balance out yourself with other people so as i say don't overgive, don't over um don't kind of take don't overgive or overtake um and it's also kind of discerning who is the right people and the fact that you have you are a helper i can see you're a helper um, I'm getting the word light healer, light worker. So you have given to people and you have helped people. So now that's actually coming back to you and that friendship is going to join with you, okay? I'm going to give you a affirmation card. So let's see what um, affirmation you need for group number one. But what message will change your life? Amethyst is also a really good crystal, guys. Like, look for amethyst as well. I think that's a really good one to look at. So we have emotional health. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> 
This is I am gentle with myself. Wow, I love this so much. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god. This is actually making me tear up. I feel like for some of you this could have actually made you tear up just looking at that. That's so sweet. <clears throat> and then we also have, I think this is emotional health as well. Emotional health, okay? We also have another one which is I trust myself to act when the energy moves me. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. So those two are your affirmations. Please feel free to like, comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to. I really, really appreciate guys. Thank you so much for helping me grow my channel. Honestly, you guys mean the world to me. And um, I link all my cards down below that I have always in my readings. And also, if you'd like a private reading with me, all my information is down below. My yearly reading, if you obviously this is a timeless reading anyway, but if you're watching this at the time where it's nearly to the end of 20. Uh, 2019 then my yearly forecast for 2020 is on sale at 10% off and you can get that now so if you'd like to get one of those to see what's happening for you in the next year then please feel free and I'll speak to you very soon group one bye hello group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video let's get started with your reading let's see what message will change your life abundance enjoy the bounty of life your supply is unlimited blessings are coming to you wow that is so stunning, beautiful. Let's put that guy there. Actually, let's put, yeah, okay. I'm gonna put him in the middle. Right. <clears throat> we then have passion, vacation. For some of you, you're getting your passion back. I just heard you're getting your passion back, like very, very clearly. And I feel like travel could be involved in that as well. Healing, teaching and learning. Balance, yes, love that. We also have citrine, abundance, creativity, oh my god, abundance, yes, we have that twice. And we have multifaceted, there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you are talking about. And then let's have a look at, oh my god, look at this, wow. I kind of want to put this in my singing bowl, is that weird? That looks weird, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know where to put this guy, maybe I'll put him in the middle, okay. Two of Cups, guys. Oh my freaking God. This group is so interesting. Right, so you are coming to terms with who you are, guys. You are reuniting with yourself. You are reuniting with your ego. You're saying, bitch, bye. All the negativity that you've felt over the years is going to be gone. I'm getting your anxiety is decreasing, which is so good. And then it's just going to go boop. And it's just going to literally go smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's just going to boop. And then it's going to fly away. Goodbye. This is also you finding a partnership. If you are looking for a partner, beautiful. If you're looking to improve your relationships, beautiful. Abundance, perfect, absolutely gorgeous. So this is abundance coming towards you. My legs are tingling so much, okay. <laughs> Which means that is correct <laughs> for what I just said. So balancing, you are balancing yourself. You are healing. You are going through a healing time and it's helping you decide who you are and what you want. Nine plus one is 10 which is one, which is a new beginning. You guys are learning to discern who you are, what you want, and to not hide in the crowd. I'm feeling this citrine is actually very, very similar to the golden ball that she's holding. Isn't that so funny? So I do feel like your, abun your abundance is coming in and having creativity is really gonna help you, okay? Citrine is also a really good happy crystal. So if you are feeling a little bit down, depressed, confused, lacking in energy, citrine is very, very good for that. Whenever I wear citrine, I always feel very, very happy. I think it's actually a Scorpio crystal as well, which kind of helps me, but you know, it's very, very helpful. So what would be really, really helpful for you guys is for you guys to just take a vacation. This doesn't mean that you have to go travel and spend loads of money. This could mean just taking a couple of days out and just not working if you are able to do that. Also meditating, take time to possibly even do sound healing, Reiki, just possibly just allow yourself even to, I know it sounds really ironic, but even buy yourself a reading so you know what's to come and how you can improve yourself. It's just like giving yourself the gift of like, um, like I'm going to improve myself and I'm going to take the steps towards that. I'm not saying obviously buy my readings. Like that's not what I'm saying, guys. You go, you go to another reading if you want. You go to another reader if you want. But it's basically like if you're looking to improve yourself, this group is just such, yes, yes, you're doing it. You're doing it, okay? And we also have healing with uh, teaching and learning, as I said. So I do feel like from this healing, you're going to be, um, you're, you're basically being taught what, how, how to, how you're, like how how you are you're basically learning who you are through this healing you're going to be 
um, taught, yeah, who you are, how you approach life, um, who is actually important in your life and who's going to make the effort, you know. Um, this There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. So if you're possibly dealing with somebody, they're very confusing, they possibly have many layers. So not everyone is who they are on the surface or don't judge a book by its cover, all that jazz, that kind of, those kind of sayings. Um, I'm getting drawn to my Desert Rose crystal as well. So possibly look up Desert Rose if you are interested in that kind of crystal. Okay, also citrine. Um, also guys, this... Um, this situation has many layers as well so therefore you are healing each layer and trying to get really deep in there but just so that you know guys if you're lacking in passion you will get your passion back okay you will feel more happier than you do now or you will just kind of enable yourself to find your passion you will find your passion you will okay it's literally just this period in time is about balancing and after this you're going to have your abundance oh my god i love this group so much it just makes me so happy um with this abundance i feel like these um rainbow like all this rainbowness that's going on i love it i just think it's so 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 stunning this is about all the layers of you coming together but some of you guys i feel like you could even be coming out as gay um or trans or anything like that because i feel like you're really kind of embracing who you are and you're not afraid to do that okay so i'm going to give you a couple of um affirmations and we're going to see what we got here we have i am gentle with myself this is what group number one got and i shuffled guys you saw it that's amazing i am gentle with myself beautiful and then let's i just noticed that both of these cards have dogs on them that's so funny okay that isn't the right one for you though guys sorry <laughs> both of these cards have dogs on it I think that was the one for group number one as well. So that's so funny that both of them had dogs like resting. That's really, really sweet. What else does group number two need to know? Thank you. We have I honour and protect my sensitivity. Um, I'm going to have a look at the card underneath as well. We have oh, I am worthy of more prosperity. I'm, op I'm open. Oh, sorry. I am worthy of more prosperity and I open my heart and hands to receive it now. So this is amazing, guys. This is so good. So these uh, three are your affirmations. If you want to write them down, repeat them to yourself. Say them out loud. You know, don't be embarrassed, guys. Or if you want to, just say them out loud when you're in, you know, no one's around, you know. Um, and also we have abundance, like, twice. We have abundance here and abundance here. And we also have prosperity. So you guys are going to be coming into a lot of money and your passion and possibly a relationship. So this is all, this is all the elements, guys. I'm getting lifestyle. I'm getting the word lifestyle. And your lifestyle is improving. Just the way you live your life is improving. So I love that, guys. High quality life you're going to get. So love that. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to, you can get a private reading with me. All the information is down below. And I'm also doing my 2020 uh, yearly forecast uh, in my private readings for 10% uh, off. So if you'd like to know what's going to happen for you in 2020, then please feel free to have a look at that. Obviously, this reading is timeless. So if you come across this video, um, this discount may not be on. But um the uh i might have another discount or things like that so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hello group number three let's get started with your reading hello group number three let's get started with your reading and let's see what important message you need to know that will change your life okay so the overall message is trust leap into the unknown have faith and move forward believe that you will fly we have communication detoxification relationship change fear Labradorite, Psychic Ability, Third Eye Chakra. Ruby, bless your heart, reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Let's move these over. And then we also have from the Tarot, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, that is amazing. I love when this happens, like out of all the freaking cards in the Tarot, you get a card like this. Guys, that is enough to know that you can trust the universe, okay? That is absolutely stunning. I love this so much. Oh, okay. So, let me just have a look and see what's going on. I feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to talk to you a uh, talk to your partner, talk to your friends, 
talk to yourself, you know, journal um, and to know that things are changing. You may be having a relationship change, which means you may be going from single to having a relationship. You may be going from single to dating. You may be going from in a relationship to breaking up. You know, it's kind of like the fear of the unknown is really coming in for you guys. So for some of you, you could be anxious about letting go of an obsessive um, partner who could have traumatized you, abused you, made you feel a lot of fear, okay? Um, for some of you, it could be about letting go of somebody to then change your relationship. So basically, you somebody could be interested in you or you could want to be in a relationship, but you haven't let go of the past. Um, it could be that. This is a general reading, guys. So for some of you, that doesn't resonate. I know that for a fact. <laughs> and then for the relationship change um, for this... What's the other message? There's another one too. Yeah, you could be breaking up and you're scared of you're scared of breaking up with this person. Okay? But also I'm seeing that some of you guys are gonna be not single anymore. November's gonna be a really changing time for you, which is absolutely amazing. New love. So for you guys, uh, there's also a lot of toxification. So that me meaning basically that you're letting go of things that don't don't serve you anymore, which is really, really good, and new things are coming in trust is oh that's what i was gonna say trust that things are coming in for you okay you may be scared of the future because nothing is gonna and you think nothing is gonna happen but that's not true guys trust because we have the ace of wands right next to trust it's like you think you're gonna be falling like five thousand feet or five thousand they were just gonna be falling like for a long time but actually you just literally just step off the pavement and that's it you know, you literally just step like a tiny step and then you're, you're there. You're going to be, ca you're going to be caught. Like when you, if you feel like you're falling, you're going to be caught at the bottom. Okay. You feel like it's a massive uh, drop, but actually it's literally just one step, boom, you're done. And then you're going on to the next step. So it may feel very scary, but actually it's not. What's going to be really important for you guys is to communicate how you really feel for some of you. And for others of you, you could be having communication coming in from a past partner, from a past lover, from an old friend. You could be actually having communication from a new partner, from for a new potential partner, new friendship, and just trusting that things will get better, okay? Um, also, we have psychic ability, so you could be improving your psychic ability, and this could mean that you're going to be connecting with somebody who also has psychic ability, which could be a potential partner or friendship, and both of you have a really good, like, strong spiritual bound, bond, bond, and you're bound to each other, which is really, really sexy, very sexy, very intimate um, imagery I'm getting, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like, I was meant to find you. That's what I'm hearing. I was meant to find you. I'm also getting the image of a dragonfly. So if you keep seeing dragonflies, that is that is for you. I'm also getting number 222. So, <coughs> my chest is really, really hurting now. Normally, I get that when I'm scared to do something. So, that's definitely how, you're, how you're, a lot of you guys are feeling. You could be getting pain in your throat as well as scared to communicate. We've also got 11. So, 1-1 one, one and 2-2 two, two are very, very prominent for you guys. And 6 plus 5 is 11, which is, you know, 11, which is 11 here as well. And also could be 2. Right, let's see. What does group number 3 need to know in terms of their affirmation? What do they need to know to help them with their journey? Thank you. Right, we have environment. Love. I love my home and my home loves me. Okay, so that is the first one. And then we also have, let's get one more. Oh, okay prosperity beautiful i love being debt free so some of you guys could be scared of having debt or could be scared of your debt as well and not wanting to pay it off or scared you can't pay it off and underneath the deck we have uh emotional health which is i am transparent what you see is what you get and i love that about myself wow i love that so much so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please feel free to give it a like comment down below subscribe also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below all the cards that i use today are always linked down below and if you would like to get a um a discount for the yearly reading if you'd like to see what's going to happen for the whole year uh, for yourself in 2020 I'm doing in my pirate readings 10% off for my yearly forecast so if you'd like to get that please feel free all the information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading so the overall energy we have is magic put that underneath there which says make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you and we also have gentleness 
which says, be kind to yourself and others, honour your gentleness, speak words of love. So I'm going to leave those two there. And then we also have manifestation. Awakening your true self. New location. Karmic completion. This card. I love this card. Trust. Change. Lapis Azuli problems resolved. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. And then we also have justice. So, wow, there's a lot of messages here. Okay, so starting off with the justice card. What's showing me is you're getting your justice. Okay, guys, my hand is really itchy. I don't know if you guys have an itchy hand, but my hand is seriously itching right now. Um, so for you guys, it's trusting that things will work out and being gentle with yourself in the process. Your justice is coming, okay? You are forgiving yourself, you're forgiving this situation and you're letting this move through, okay? You're getting your karmic completion, problems are being resolved and change is happening, okay? So in terms of this justice card, it's showing me that you're going to get your justice, okay? If things haven't worked out in the past, they are going to work out and you're going to move for forward? Forward and through, I went through, I, went, I, I said through. <laughs> forward and through i love how this justice card is very similar to the gentleness like in terms of color like red red yellow orange which is all about your sacral and your solar plexus which is amazing love that so it's forgiving the past forgiving who who you who i'm getting forgiving who you were in the past and knowing that it's okay to feel like that um and releasing repressed anger because it may be actually affecting your health mentally spiritually physically um, we also have trusting we have trust that change is going to happen we have 32 and 35 so things are going to drastically change i love this oh my god i just saw this like we have an egg here and we have an egg here so it's like a completely different energy we have like you feeling trapped feeling confused oh my god what's going to happen i feel stuck and then boom you're going to be like no bitch i'm not going to let you win you know i'm not going to let my ego win i'm going to change it's going to be amazing there's going to be change coming in and we have the moon twice in these two cards so it's like it's almost like here we have it's nearly full moon it's nearly full moon and then boom it's full moon she's coming out to play she's like boom everything's moving shifting changing this is very quiet and very still and this is like boom you know oh my god i love that imagery that's so stunning so we have manifestation and awakening your true self so this is very similar as i said to the gentleness and justice card because it's that very similar color so it's you manifesting things that are going to be on your wavelength on your path you're gonna they're gonna suit you okay you're gonna manifest things and the best way to manifest things is to be yourself don't um don't conform don't control i'm hearing don't conform and don't control make sure you you are being yourself and um some of you sorry just burped guys for some of you you could have got a seashell you could have recently bought a seashell or like a, a, a shell to kind of put your incense sticks in or like a sage stick or you could have recently bought a perfume bottle this isn't really a perfume bottle it's more like a little like glass vase but for you guys i'm seeing like i'm really concentrating on the shells so for some of you guys, you could have bought a shell recently or a vase or some sort of perfume bottle or like a, um, a bouquet of flowers or somebody could have given you a bouquet of flowers. Um, you guys are moving to a new location. This could mean physically actually moving. This could also mean emotionally as well. So it could mean whatever this means to you, you are moving. Things are changing, okay? So you're not going to be stuck forever. You may feel like you are, but you're not going to be. And this lapis is really very similar colour to this new location, both blue. So you're basically going to be moving through some really deep emotional change and your I got your third eye is going to thank you. So it's almost like your intuition knows what you need to do and it's actually going to be like, yes, yes, you can do this, you know. And we have karmic completion with problems resolved. So that literally just is exactly how it is. It's like exactly how it says your karma is completed. New cycles, problems are being resolved. So make sure to communicate how you feel, guys, because it's really, really important for you to be seen and be heard for who you are okay so i actually moved through this very quickly but i really hope this helped guys uh, i'm sending you lots of love we're also going to do a affirmation for you guys what affirmation does group number four need to know thank you this is so random i'm getting barney the dinosaur 
and I'm getting the song Yankee Doodle. <laughs> so I have no idea what that means, but if that resonates with any of you guys, let me know. And I'm also concentrating on this green crystal here. So if you are connecting with a green crystal, that's definitely for you. Um, yeah. Okay. Right, I want to choose both of these. So we have, I transform my life by transforming the space in which I live and work. Okay. Then we also have, I'm excited to share the things I no longer love or need with people who will love and need them more. Beautiful. And this is about your environment, okay? And then underneath the deck, we have, what's happening with another environment card? Is this another environment card? Yep, so definitely all about your environment. Yep, so much, so many environment cards. This is another one for you guys. I love living in an in organized beauty. That's so gorgeous. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you'd like to. Thank you so much, for you guys, for your endless amounts of support. I love, love, love you. And I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you through a time. If you're having a rough time, I'm sending you lots of love. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure to um, look at the sound, uh, check out the sound healing at the start of the video if you haven't already. Um, I do feel like it's gonna be quite cleansing for a lot of you if you're going through some hard times or just need a bit of cleansing. And also, guys, I'm doing a 10% off my yearly forecast. So if you'd like to know what's going to happen for you in the year ahead, then please look down below. I'm doing 10% off that reading. And I've also got my other options available there as well. So please message me on Instagram or you can email me at victoriaheretoinspire at gmail.com to book a private reading. So thank you so much and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.